No I, I'm, way. I was sweating. I was serious? like sweating for you. I can't Yo, that is crazy. I'm that so is crazy. <laughs> basketball fans welcome to the playoff edition of the debrief thanks to the good people from Foot Locker we have moved from the couch to the kitchen table because that's where all the best debates are had joining me we have Archie but you can call him AP Bouncy and joining us we have one of the complex writers you know him as the stat man this is Neva so in honor of the Kings we're gonna start off by lighting the beam by the beam. Mm -hmm. Hey. See that? Hey. Did you see that AP? That was that was that was, that was, that was a little pretty anticlimactic. Oh, I'm not gonna <laughs> say it personally, but that's alright. I mean, look, it's not the same level of the beam that you see that the, 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 the city a, sees, a but this is as laces. close as we that's can what, get. That's what I want to see. Now. We should have done a countdown, actually. Maybe we should have next should time. Have that's alright. Production budget needs to go up for the beam. <laughs> <laughs> So let's talk about the Kings. Look, they have just won their first playoff game in 17 years. That's that's a little drought. Packed out arena. Packed out arena, inside and outside. Hey, it was a big game. That game one, like the atmosphere, you could just tell. Like that was the first game win since the playoff win. 2006. That's right. I could not that's even crazy. tell you the roster in 2006. <laughs> what were you doing well, in 2006? <laughs> <laughs> you the, I think the baby I was learning how to table. walk. Uh, <laughs> Saving up money to go to a Kings game, I think. <laughs> Speaking of money and how much it costs, did, did you guys yeah, hear how much it, it costs for the first round? It's like 400 bucks or something like that. That's crazy. Insane. I, it was like almost double the amount of what the third game's going to be. Mm. Should but you're a part of history. You oh, know, absolutely. To be there. Let's check it out. No, this, this, this was a crazy game. This was um, like the energy was all there. I mean, especially for the Kings. Mm. Like as a first playoff game, they come out with all that energy. And they, I mean, what was the scoreline? It was 126 to 123. It's a close game. And to come out on top on, against the Warriors, who've obviously had an insane last few years and in, in the experience they have in the playoffs and obviously winning, come out strong like that. That's I mean, huge. 100. Apart from Clay and Steph, though, no one on the, uh, no one was shooting well on no. the Warriors. Just, just the Splash Bros. Um, and that was, that was what, it. 30 for Curry, 21 for Clay. They're the only two that showed up. And even then, like, it's, I mean, that's still great shooting, but we've seen them shoot better than that. Yep. I think this series is really going to come down to, like, who's going to play defense the best. Because, I mean, actually, both teams are, like, they're not great defensively. I mean, we know Golden State mm. definitely isn't they're great. An offensive especially team. on the road. Mm. And I think we saw that with, crazy. You know, in game two, again, you know, defense just collapsing. So this is going to be a fun series. This is really – I mean, it already is a fun series, but I think whoever plays – I actually think – Sacramento did not win this game, but they won this game. Elaborate, <laughs> elaborate. What? Elaborate. Well, think about it, right? That I don't know if you saw that corner three that Wiggins had. Yep. If he'd hit that, that would have put them up nah. by two. They missed it. Well, Wiggins missed it. It looked good. He missed. He missed it. And then they got fouled, which put them to 126. Mm -hmm. So if he'd hit that three. How much but, time was that? But did he hit that three? No. <laughs> he missed it. And what does Vin Diesel say? Win by an intro, Mar winning's winning. All right. <laughs> okay. Winning but is winning. Vin Diesel fan let over me, here. Let me just shout that Steph Curry um, last three pointer. Mm. Like that looked good. That it did looked, look like good. that one. That, look, that was nice. That, that looked was good. I, I thought I was gonna drop, but yeah. No, I, I, I think end of the day, this is how many minutes is Curry willing to play mm. early on in the playoffs? Um, if they're gonna be losing they, against a team that they should be beating, they, they should be beating the Kings in you know, theory, but mm -hmm. if Curry isn't going to play a more than 35 minutes, uh, then they're probably going to keep losing. Like, they need to keep that man on the court. And, and turnovers. I'm, I'm going to just throw that in there. Like, Golden State had 22 turnovers in game two versus 15 the last game. Like, that's... I think that's what's going to really cost, especially in the playoffs. So you have to take care mm. of the ball. I mean, they shoot their free throw as well, which is good for them, but... Mm. Defense yeah. and turnovers. We'll we'll see how to respond at home. You know, we're going to see that experience. He's Absolutely. a champion, so we'll I mean, see at this happens, at this stage, props to the props to the Kings. De'Aaron Fox, thirty eight points. Malik Monk, thirty two points. I do see Sacramento win this series. By the way, I'm just going to throw that in seven. Yeah. That's, that's your insight. That's uh, it. How many games? How many games? Hundred. Um, hundred games. <laughs> no, 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 hundred. No, no. I'm hundred. Not as in facts, I'm facts, facts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. I can see it going to seven. I'll be honest, this is probably the mm. tough one because mm. it's, I mean, it's Golden State is a champion, so they're going to respond, no doubt. But I, I see, I can see the Kings pulling this off. Them Kentucky boys, Fox and, and Monk, mm. 
the Kings are going to play hard mm-hmm. because they like this is this is a huge competition for them to to play up against the Warriors. And I think that's potentially why it could go to seven because they're going to be balling so damn hard to give themselves the best opportunity, which means you're going to have to have the the likes of Steph out yeah. there more yeah. often. And they've got nothing to lose. Absolutely. I mean, they've also won game two. They won 114 to 106, so that's two and one. Uh, sorry, two and zero. Oh. Yep. So. It's a, it's a great start for them. Um, they've got game three, Friday 21st of April. Is this going to be a dream run for the Kings? I saw a stat somewhere that said Steph Curry's never been down 0-2. Correct, yeah. In, the in play, his career. In his, in his entire career. And that includes Steve Kerr's mm. career, uh, career at the Warriors as well. So the Warriors. The Warriors haven't been down 0-2 since 2007. And I think they've been down 0-1 oh, oh only three times yep. in the playoffs since Steve Kerr's been the coach. Yep. So... We'll see. It's going to be a tough series for them. Yeah. They're going to have to win both home games. I think they can do it. Obviously, you heard my take. I think they can do it. To uh, lead off of our anticlimactic light the beam moment, let's look at the actual light the beam moment that, that was had. Light that beam, sir. Malika, De'Aaron up. Fox. Man, look at that. Crowd look how gets into that it insane. Man, that crowd is 17 years hey. they've been waiting for this hey. moment. It should kind of like compress hey. when they hit it, but... The, yeah, yeah, look, that looks a little more impressive than ours did. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind. Look, incredible win. They're going. This is a great way to, for them to start the series. Um, let's let's get into talking about the East. Now, the East is going to be for you, Archie. Mm-hmm. Your favorite team is in the East. It's not, favorite team's not even in America. It's in Canada. That's fine. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so the Raptors, your team. You're going to kind of let us know what's happening in the East. All right. We got the Knicks and the Cavs, so we've, we've seen game one of that, uh, and the Knicks fans are celebrating uh, already, like they won the finals. <laughs> Hang the banner um, up. Hang the banner up. But it was, it was a great game from Jalen Brunson, and I think Mark Cuban was kicking himself at home today, <laughs> watching that. Uh, and Emmanuel Quick, Quickly just got uh, named a sixth man of the year candidate, and he, he wasn't That's here huge. in this game, but... He didn't, he didn't show up, but they still got the dub, which means, you know, if, if they can get some better minutes out of him in the next few games, then they really could take the series. 101 to 97. Yeah, it's it a close game. Um, but Josh Hart as well, I think, needs to be mentioned. He was key. Mm, mm. And 17 he, points, Josh Hart. They were crashing. The whole team, whole Knicks were crashing. Yeah. The, How about the, the offensive boards, rebounds, them right? offensive rebounds, Look yeah. at him go... <laughs> Damn. He's in the I'm, crowd. Whoa. He just wanted to be with the people. <laughs> and they love him. Donovan Mitchell, 38 points. Um, they're going to need that from him every game mm, for the rest of the playoffs. Do you think they're going to need the rest of the team, though? <laughs> <laughs> if they can just get five of him out there, uh, I think they'll be fine. I mean, there was 10 points difference between the next ones. So Garland, Darius Garland got 18 and Mitchell got 38 points. So... Garland they they went, might need a little. He, I mean, he, he went, went off. But no, he went quiet in the fourth no, quarter. Though. No, he, he went, went quiet. He went, he went very quiet. He, he started really well, and then I don't know what happened. I, I think um, for Cleveland, I, I don't know. Like they've, they've got they've got the talent, hundred percent. But I mean, look, it's game one, and and for a lot of these players, like it's their first playoff experience. They have mm. very little playoff experience aside from Donovan. Um, but I don't know. I think the I actually think first of all, Jalen Brunson, he's him. There's, there's going to be a lot of hymns. Jaylen, him, Jaylen, a lot it. of hymns today. If there's I, any hymns out there, it's Jalen <laughs> Brunson. And and when you you know watching this game, and I think we're going to see that like forty games moving forward, like he just knows how to take over the game. It's, I mean, it's pretty crazy when you already have Julius Randle on your team, who can mm. you know score the score the bucket. Like. And he's a big body. And, and yeah. when it comes to the playoffs, it gets physical. But he's so. he's like Brunson is just shifty. Like you you know like just the way he gets to his spots, but. I think I actually think the the X factor for the Knicks because I can see the okay. Knicks. I can see the Go Knicks ahead. taking mm-hmm. this. Go I ahead. can really see it. Um, What's the X factor? I think it comes down to RJ Barrett because one thing you know you know I saw one thing I saw in Game One is was that him not being there. He <laughs> was listen. He had a he had a bad game. Mm-hmm. He had a, like he that game was not going for him. Like anytime there was a couple of drives, the ball got like stolen off him, pickpocket, but. That being said, most of his shots were really bad shots. And I actually pin that to the team because a lot of his shots were like shot clock bailouts. Like they did not get him in rhythm at all. So I think, you know, for Knicks to really, if they, I think if they want to advance around two, 
they get RJ Barrett going, it like mm. I think they're good. They've got the machine. They gotta find. They gotta they support each other. Get him get, good shots. Yeah. Get him yeah. good shots because he's he's got no rhythm. He's got no rhythm. Are, oh, yeah, special game team. one. No rhythm. So, I uh, yeah. And oh, the only thing I would add is on the Cavs, they have four players that they know they're gonna start every single time, mm-hmm. and then they don't know where to put that fifth slot. Uh, whether it falls to Okoro or C.D. Osman. It can't be C.D. Osman, but that's where it is right now. They don't really know who that fifth guy is that's going to help them. In who, do you, the, who do you think it should be? I, I don't know. That's for them to figure out. I, I couldn't put anyone there that right now. Mm. Um, but Do you mean aside from the starters or including the starters? So including no, the starters. No, he thinks including the starters. So, so the, t- the, f- to the top four he can name easily, but he doesn't know who that fifth mm. man is. Yeah. It's not as clear. Yeah, who I mean, the you got D. Mitch, Darius Garland, Jay uh, Allen, Jay Allen, um, and then they they slid Okora and RJ Barrett, and then mm. they slid Okora in there. You said Mitchell, Garland, Allen. Yeah, they need Garland to show up though. They like and I Evan just, Mobley. Sorry, Mobley. They need yeah. Garland to show up. Like Mobley, it's his first playoffs. He, but yeah, they need Garland. Like I think it's Garland's first playoffs too. But as a point guard. Yeah, you need him to. But shout out that Julius Randle before we move on. Just like shout out Julius Randle rebound at the end of the game. Like that was big time, and that's what wins playoff games. And at this stage, the Knicks look anything that they can get. We know one win that's for tough. them is the world. So <laughs> hang the banner up, hey Knicks tape. But this isn't a way. Like, they stole the first game away. So mm. when you have that packed out Madison Square Garden, what a moment! That is going to be a game to watch. And they're about so game two that will kick off before this episode goes out. But so well, I mean, what are we what are we predicting for game two? I reckon Cavs are gonna have they have to take this one or it's over. I, I agree they have to. I think though if, if they get RJ Barrett in rhythm, mm. I think they'll win win another game. Jalen Brunson is just like like I said, he is him. So just give him the ball. If they match Osman up on him, it's it's wraps because he couldn't guard him. You cannot guard him, sir. You cannot Mm-mm. guard him, Archie. What? I know you are burning to talk about this next team. You wanna you wanna let us know what happened with the uh, the Heat and the Bucks? All right. Well, by the way, I thought this was a sleeper. So a sleeper game. This was a sleeper game. Uh, I think what happened was Giannis went down in the first quarter. Um, Ten minutes in, he's out the game. You also remove Hero from the equation as well, mm-hmm. and you add Max Struess in there as well because he came out of nowhere. Playoff Jimmy Butler is here. He's definitely he's here. here. He's he's. Uh, Come up, his off season is the regular season, all right. And now he's in season. Uh, I mean, he shot. I think this is where he starts to show his experience in the league. The Heat won 100, uh, 130 to 117. That's a convincing win compared to the other games mm. that we've watched. That's a convincing win. Don't get me wrong. The Bucks have a deep team, but their whole their whole game runs around Giannis. So when Giannis isn't there, uh, it forces guys to step up. And if they can't do that, then that it's it's gonna have to be a hustle to win a game. The, so, it, it hurts me when Giannis is out. We, the, we all know the Nigerian prince. We all know that I'm a fan of the Nigerian <laughs> prince. So it hurts me when he's out. I, I think that's where Talhiro yeah hurt himself. That, I think yeah, he's broken. It, yeah, he broke his he's hand. Broken yeah. or broken hand. Yeah. Is it confirmed broken? Yeah. Four to six weeks. Yeah. So game two, it will also be wrapped up before wrapped up before the episode goes out. What's what's the prediction for this one? I'm a bit surprised that he won this game, even if Giannis is out. I can definitely tell you that the what won this game for Miami was their threes. They actually made their threes. So they actually shot 60% mm-hmm. um, from three in this game, which... What's their previous... Well, I'll tell you, from, from, the, from the season, mm-hmm. they were 27th in the league, and they shot 34%. Really? Wow. So they I were like, know that. yeah, bottom of the league when it came to, like, three-point yeah. shots. So that's what won them the game. That's what I think, you know, has been... You know, their struggle point all season is mm-hmm. hitting threes. Jimmy Butler's had a great season, but just the team just isn't performing. But, hey, Kyle Lowry, it looks like he's showing up. He knows his playoff time too, so. And he, he has I, a lot I, of experience. I see this. He, he does have – he has a special experience. Mm-hmm. He's won a lot losing to LeBron, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> True. Um, but I, I see Bucks taking this, though. I think even if Giannis is out, Drew Holiday's, like – we've seen the type of – he was an all-star this season, yeah. so there's yeah. no doubt, like, Bucks will – I think I, I, I agree with sure. you. I'm I'm giving it to the Bucks. Yeah. You yeah. might be like a little bit biased though, but sure. Yeah, I know well, what you're talking about. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I think uh, Giannis is going to take some ibuprofen and <laughs> some aspirin, and he's definitely going to play a game too. Um, hey, give him the LeBron James of back doctors, right? Yeah. G- <laughs> <laughs> put put him onto everything LeBron's uh, <laughs> stuff, and then yeah, he'll be fine. He'll be playing next game. Let's let's wrap up 
the rest of the East. So the 76ers and the Nets played. Sixers won. Embiid and Harden teamed up for 49 points for the Sixers' victory. Can anybody stop Embiid? Not straight up. The Nets roster, there is not a single man who can play straight up one-on-one defense with Embiid and win. They're going to have to pull out tactics. They're going to definitely get crafty. Mm. They're going to have to throw doubles. That's the only way they're going to be able to stop Embiid. Um, and as you can see, he got, I think game two was today as well, and he had 19 and 20. So he's getting boards. No one can really stop him on the boards. Uh, and they're not going to put Mikel Bridges uh, off a guard to, to guard Embiid. Mm. So, yeah, I mean, as well as that, I, I had some hope today because I'm a, a Nets fan and <laughs> not, not the Nets. Like, that's not hey, my team. Hey, they're allowed to be Nets fans <laughs> on the show. You're allowed to have multiple teams. <laughs> All right. uh, I, I like the Nets and I really got some hope. I got some hope when Cam Johnson uh, posted Embiid and put up, uh, what was it? 20, 22 points, 22 points at half, half time. By half time. I, I, thought, I thought they were going to take that game, but... Tyrus Maxey helped close it out. I mean, half times don't hope. win games, you know? False hope, yeah. False hope. Can't yeah. win the game at half time. But he did, Cam Johnson, he showed up and Mikel Bridges played well as well. Mm. So for them to win a game, I think the only way is if there's an injured player on, like, if all the guys are healthy on 76ers, it ain't going to happen. It's going to be injured players. A- any, player. Anytime <laughs> yeah. I hear the word, though, that there's got to be injured players for a team to win, it, it's just, that's a wrap. But we hope not. That's, but we hope yeah. but that being said, I hope they shoot ninety percent from three next game <laughs> and uh, take away take away silly game and look, don't, they, don't get swept. Look, they also came out on top on game two, ninety six to eighty four. So they're leading the series two and zero. Next game is Friday morning, twenty first of April. You know, we'll see what happens there for the Celtics Hawks game. The Celtics won one hundred twelve to ninety nine. You know, fairly convincing in the end. It is 112.99, nice little gap there. If the Celtics sit out Jalen and Tatum, can they rely on D. White? I think we've been waiting for Derek White to actually just be able to run the offense and, and provide that offensive punch when those guys are sitting. Uh, and today he's he showed another glimmer that he can do that. Mm. But we still need more. And I think it's going to have to be... Throughout the playoffs, this is his chance to show that he isn't just uh, a you know a major backup to these guys, but he can actually play. Um, and if he does that, then they you probably see him in the finals again because uh, they have a, they're great depth, uh, overall really balanced team, mm. um, and two superstars. So we'll see. Uh, on the Hawks side of that game, though. That was just that was terrible. Yeah, terrible shooting. That that made me want to turn the game off. Oh, yeah, <laughs> watching that shooting. Um, but who knows? We'll have we'll have to we'll have to see if Dejounte Murray can lock one of the guys up. Quick take: Game two is going to be wrapped up between Celtics and Hawks before this episode goes out. What's the prediction? Celtics win. <laughs> okay. That's it. Beautiful. Let's. That's the East. Thanks, Archie. We are going to head over to the West. You're a West Side boy. That's your origins. And I think your team's in the West too. A little, a yes, little purple and orange team. Talk to us what's happening. Memphis Grizzlies mm-hmm. and the Lakers. Yeah, nah, this, this was a great game. I'm, I'm keen to play these highlights. Mm-hmm. I think we should uh, press play and have a look at these highlights. <laughs> no, this was a, this was a great game. Um, my pick, mm. I'll just go off the top, my pick was Memphis. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, I wouldn't say was, is. is. Um, however, all plays for, like, all the role plays for Lakers showed up. Um, I call them Lakers 2.0 because that trade deadline did wonders. Oh, damn. <laughs> did wonders. Um, About you know, the time. LeBron, you know, he shows up in the playoffs. There's no question about that. Absolutely. Um, I, I, I was impressed, I think, with Jaron Jackson Jr. He stayed out of foul trouble. He dropped 31. Um, and got named deep way today. There you go. Mm. So Memphis were there. I Oof. think the biggest oh, thing here about this series is – just for Memphis to stay healthy. Mm. Um, right now, it's not looking like it, especially with Jar going out. That was sad to see. Hopefully, he's back at least game three or four. We'll see if he is even there for game two. Um, even Anthony Davis caught a stinger, so it's just like <laughs> that was, if players yeah. can just stay healthy at this point, we, we only I hope like, that. I feel like I say that every other episode about him when yeah. he gets injured. It's like if he can stay healthy. Yeah, and he said when he did that arm, he said I, I can't I know, move. I, yeah. like, I can't move the I arm. I opened like, Instagram whoa. and I saw I can't yeah. feel my arm. I know. I'm like, was, I know. No. I thought every like the worst thoughts went through my head. I was like, this is this is it. But it's then over. He, then yeah. he came back. Yeah. But no, I, I think what was key for this Lakers team is yeah, just that bench. Hachimura really showed up. He dropped twenty nine. You had Austin Reeves. I believe he dropped twenty three. 
Um, and so that that was that was a big short. Like Reeves kind of closed the game. <laughs> but like, like, okay. like you got LeBron James, LeBron James on your team, and you have Reeves closing. Him, I have had, him. I've had so many people reach <laughs> out to me. Today. So many of my guy friends that are into basketball reach out to me about Austin Reeves, and they're like, he, he is him. He has he has our approval. He can join the cookout. <laughs> he, he is. They are all over him right now. He's he's. They've got a fan club. Listen. He's not him. <laughs> oh, bro. I'll say he's right now. Is he's not him. him. Okay. Um, I, I mean, I like his game. Mm -hmm. He's not him. I, I, this is his first playoff, so mm. we, we still got a lot more to yeah. see from him. Game one. Um, I'm all for him doing his thing, but I don't think it's him, but just a solid solid game from... Damn. Yeah, that oh. jaw, that jaw injury was, was not nice, but just a so solid game from the from the bench, and that's key for Lakers <sighs> to win the series if they want to oh. win. I, I see that replay. That yeah. slow-mo replay? It gives me You like you doing the worm as well. Like, <laughs> you know that dance move? <laughs> yeah, but Memphis, I, I, I still think they can pull it he off. He didn't mm. return, did he? No, no. he didn't. No. No. Um, no, he returned to the bench, but just didn't. Yeah, didn't play. Didn't return to the game. But no, I think Memphis can still pull this off. They, I mean, without Jaw? They've gotten used to playing without Jaw. They're 11 and 10 without Jaw in the season. Really? 11 and 10. So a few other things I've seen with this series is the... Nothing. I'm waiting. This you're is looking it. at me like an no, intro. I'm ready stuff. for the insight. All right, the insight stuff. is that a seventh seed has never won the NBA Finals. So the closest has been that the Rockets. I think in '95 they won. They the six seed. They were six seed. They're I think. Six seed. Uh, and then a, a further stat for the stat man is Give me them stats. The <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. The seventh seed has only ever made it past the first round four times. Damn. So this would make five if they beat uh, if they beat Memphis. I think anyone can do it. It's, it's LeBron James and, mm. and might I add, Anthony Davis did show up. Yes, he mm. went out with a stinger, but he he played really well in this game. Um, hit some crazy turnaways. But hey, maybe Lakers can do it. I'm not a believer. I, I just think um, I, I think Memphis will. They'll, they'll thug it out. They'll get the win. Yeah, no, I'm going Lakers with this series. All right. In six. Lakers, Lakers, it is. Let's. Let's talk about the Phoenix Suns yeah. and the Clippers game. Yep. I, I know there's a lot of Clippers fans. Uh, I've got some messages in my DMs specifically about the, uh, about the Clippers. Talk to us about them, Neba. No, but Clippers, they're obviously a deep team on paper. They, uh, I think they're the best team on paper in the league. Um, I would agree with you. Kawhi is Kawhi definitely is. that guy. And, and Toronto Raptors Kawhi showed up. Um, even in, in 2021, those playoff series, Kawhi showed up as mm -hmm. well. So we know when it comes to playoffs, he's going to be there. And he... He hit some like big threes in the fourth, two big threes that really closed the game. And this is against Phoenix. So, look, this was a great game for, for the Clippers. Everyone showed up. Eric Gordon showed up. Um, Norman Powell off the bench. He, I believe he delivered 13 points, um, really solid points mm. off the bench. Um, everyone played well, I'm, I'm except for, I don't want to say except, like his entire game. Let's talk about it. Westbrook, he was three He nine. honestly might have been player of the game after Kawhi. Listen, he was three for 19 from the field. He's his second best three in 19 game. <laughs> he shot 15% from the field. That's this is good. That's, I like this tennis. Keep it going. So that's not great. However, however, no, I'll say this. I'm, I'm not, a, I love Westbrook. Mm. Um, I, I love how hard he plays and he played extremely hard this game. Uh, he had like 10 rebounds, five, five offensive rebounds and five and defensive rebounds. I think rebounds. he had four steals as well. He had, I believe he had three blocks and two steals, my friend. Two steals, okay. Yeah. I think one of them assists. was a deflection. Eight assists. Yeah. This is Mr. Triple Double right here. So, no, nah, he had like he had a good game, but also not a bad game. But you know, that's what you want out of your players. You want hmm. them to. But he, to, you he don't want let that kind of shooting take you out the game. You still get a game. He play. showed up. He showed up on the hustle for sure. plays. Mm. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But I mean that that combo, the the Westbrook and Kawhi duo. I mean, I don't think we knew that we needed yeah, to see that. I I didn't think I, I wanted to see Kawhi and Westbrook duo. I mean, both LA guys, so it's only right. Um, that's true. So it's really it's really great to see. I still have Phoenix winning the series. I Why might would be that be? Why would would that be a little biased? I might be a little bit biased. Shout out my guy D Book. You know what I mean? His guy. Um, <laughs> listen, that's my light skinned brother right there. So shout out D Book. But at the end of the day, this was a close game. But for Phoenix, like you need KD and, and D Book to close the game. You know, they they didn't they didn't close the game. I think they're still like working they, it out. It's a new team. I agree. I agree. They, they've only, I believe they've only played. This might have been the eighth or ninth game. Um, wow, stat man, I don't have that number. First, That's first, especially for a Phoenix first game. Facts, no facts. First loss with I KD had in that the lineup. Number. That was the first mm -hmm. loss with KD in the lineup. But I think they'll get it together. They just need. They need. You know who took the most shots in the last fourth quarter? Who? DeAndre Aiden. <laughs> What? And you cannot. That's, that's what? Not. If you have Kevin you Durant have and book on your team, you, you can't cannot have, have DeAndre Aiden 
Shoot the most yeah, shots. I don't know about that. What, so, well, so what happened just, in the fourth then? Well, that's that's the thing. KD took a couple shots. He hit a three with, at the one minute mark, which was crucial. I believe that both they cut the lead down to three, mm -hmm. but it was too late. Um, and Devin Booker, he just didn't, didn't get it going in the fourth. And then obviously you saw that. They, they do beautiful, have beautiful block by Westbrook. I have to, that I have was to admit beautiful. that was a great block. Um, and, and that's a for you though. Threw the through the ball. Off, yeah, yeah great hustle leg. play, hundred yeah. percent. So. I, I think though they'll get it. They'll, they'll get in the game. I love that. And then one. he did this one. <laughs> Point to his heart. Hey, it, it comes down to that. They do have CP3. He he missed. Oh, what man. was the situation? Yeah, there? that's uh, you brought up a great point because he actually is. I want to say the X factor. We know who CP3 is and what he brings to well, the he team. Should He's be the, the leader of that team. Yeah. But you know what? In that fourth quarter, he he had a couple of bunnies that he missed, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Mm -hmm. um, but they're gonna go his way. They're gonna drop. That, that's that's not stress, you know. As as long as he's taking those shots, um, Book has always said like we need CP to be aggressive. So as long as he's aggressive and taking those shots, I'm, yeah. I'm not worried. I think this is the the playoffs where CP3 can make or break his career as one of the best. He already is the point guard, but if he gets a ring in this playoffs. That solidifies he's, him. He's first. Yeah. He's first. Ring. Anyway, uh, Phoenix and five. <laughs> <laughs> Phoenix and five. That's all I'm going to say. I got Clippers and six. Okay. What do you reckon? I'm going to go Clippers. Clippers. Which, I, I, you know what, when we first started the debrief, I was, I was definitely uh, a little bit more on your side. But after seeing the Clippers, seeing the lineup, what they've got on paper, I'm going with the Clippers. Paul George ain't even playing yet. That's I'm what I'm saying. Phoenix and five. Yeah. And, they're, and they've like, all the games are really close together as well. Um, so there's no two day break in between mm. games. Hey, but listen, when so KD we, don't, we we'll, don't know if he's come back. When Katie will get it going in that fourth quarter, we'll, 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 keep an eye on it. We'll see what happens. Let's wrap it up with the rest of the games in the West. So the Nuggets beat the Timberwolves in game one. That was 109 to 80. That was pretty convincing. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> None of that. Jamal Murray, standout performance, 24, 8 and 8. He's there's, back. there's, that's a great game. We can't be hey, snoring on that there's one. There's a Canadian in the playoffs. Not the team, but there's a player. It's a start. <laughs> I'm not even Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> He's a Toronto Raptors fan, by the way. Yeah. That's, that's the West. We've done yeah. the East. We've done the West. It, it's some great competition. There's been some great, great games this week. Some incredible highlights. Except for that them from and Denver and Minnesota game. I'm just going to quickly say that's going to – Denver will wrap that up in, in four. So. <laughs> no, actually, I, I would have to agree with you. Yeah. yeah. No, nuggets – they, they're meant to show right now that they are 100%. the ones here. Yeah, um, yeah. And I think they have the most pressure, if anything. Uh, Utah Jazz quicker. were always in this position of being number one seed but not going further. So I think Denver's that team this year. But mm. we'll back see what happens. Back to back MVP with his full cast we'll at see. the moment we'll to see. support him. We'll see. That's obviously your MVP, right? No. Okay. No, I got, I got Embiid as the MVP. I agree with that. Yeah, MB. That's fair enough. MB for sure. We've seen a lot of highlights. We've seen some great games. Which conference had us the most excited? I think the West. That's a no-brainer. Yeah. <laughs> That's I, a no -brainer. I, think I mean, West. I thought maybe there was something in the East. I, I think so, we've said it before that the West oh, is. That, maybe that where Celtics it's at. and Atlanta game? That was. That was, that was uh, <laughs> which game was that again? All right. Exactly. <laughs> if, you, if you cross that game off with the. Uh, with, Sorry, with the Celtics and the Hawks game, that, that with the Minnesota mm -hmm. and Nuggets game, they're both not that exciting. But the most exciting series that everyone's following, mm. where everyone's going to tune into these mm -hmm. games, yeah. is the Kings yes. versus the Warriors. 100%. So 100%. We will be lighting the beam the the every, every game, every week, every episode. Lighting the beam. Lighting the beam. I do have something I want to say, because this video has gone viral. DeMar DeRozan's daughter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Man, <laughs> how do you feel about that, sir? That was your team. Daughter. <laughs> Take a deep Look, breath. <laughs> it worked. I mean, the, the stadium was quiet. The whole stadium was quiet because it's a home game, right? You could hear her. You could really and, hear her. And you could just hear this girl scream yeah. her head off. It, yeah. But that wasn't just a scream. The pitch, yeah. like that was... It came from the soul. That was from that was the scary. soul. That, that was, was scary. horrifying. And she's like nine years old. Shout out to her. Shout out to her. Shout she out. really was the MVP of that game. She mm. was. She and, was the. And her presence was missed against Miami. I agree. That, yeah. they, that was the defense that uh, Chicago yeah. needed. Um, no, I, I 100 percent agree. Dem I think I, I watched the video where Demar's like, uh, I think he was being interviewed at the end of the press conference, and he and he saw it, and he was just like 
in disbelief. I think he said, I, I could hear her, or I could hear this sound. And I, I was like, where is that coming from? Yeah. And turned around and saw it was his daughter and he just, he just shook his head let and me, had to laugh. Let me just say, where was she when Damar was taking on LeBron all those years? <laughs> <laughs> we needed well, her. she was, how old we was she? She's only she, nine okay. now. How old, how old was she when that was happening? We needed you when you were four, all right? Why were you- A four-year-old like, can scream, okay? <laughs> I've, I've heard, I've heard it. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Um, yeah, but in Miami, they full had a section and uh, the mascot had like taped off her yeah. where she <laughs> yeah. was meant to sit. Uh, they were not having it. Yeah. yeah, those fans were a little... They, I think they need to remember that she's nine. She's a child and... She's a, agreed. honestly the best child uh, NBA player since, I don't know, maybe... <laughs> There's <laughs> asset to the team. Since like, like Mike. Mike. Since like Mike. Since like Mike, for real. <laughs> but she, he didn't even let her on the presser. You know, they always bring the kids to the presser. I know. Yeah. He should have yeah. brought her up. I mean, I maybe he was worried that... Uh, she that uh, school the next day, that's why. Yeah, that too. <laughs> or maybe a, one of the time. other fans would have been there. The apples may have been thrown. He didn't want to, you know, put her in arm's way. I think... Um, he's a dad first. I think it's up to Deuce now to like... Yeah. Yeah. Hey, he, he's got to show up. Battle uh, of the NBA that's... kids. They don't. They pull. They're waiting till like. Deuce. They're waiting till the Let's conference finals before they pull Deuce out. Yeah, for the, nah, for they the need Deuce. Hey, Deuce be beating up some players. Fellas, he's done that. That is that is a wrap on our highlights. It's playoff time, baby. This, this is, is exciting. The most it's exciting good. time. Great uh, we're gonna be here at the table. Yeah. Every week. I'm excited for the I'm excited the for you to get playoffs. all your predictions wrong. Mm. And yours too. Ah, yeah. Also, Listen, stat man, remember, make sure you get your stats right, yeah? That's the only reason you're in front of the mm. camera now. So don't be, don't <laughs> be missing out. Do that. That's you your give us one a stat, job. Right? <laughs> Listen, I've got the stats to tell you why my prediction is going to be right. All right, so we're going to head into Buzzer Beater. <laughs> Fellas, this is Buzzer Beater with Bez. All right, super easy. I've got 10 questions. This is playoff trivia. Triple B's. Triple Buzz B's. Bez. Absolutely. Hey, Big bowler nice. brand, buzzer hey, with Bez. Hey. Anyway, Facts. I've got 10 Big questions. <laughs> 10 questions. You get a point for each question right, but there is also bonus points for some of these questions. So there'll be a second question attached to it. And some of those bonus points are worth like 10 points. Okay. So you, you might get those bonus points right. Yeah, neither and four. All right. That's the prediction? All right. We're ready. <clears throat> Neva, I'm going to start with you. Let's get it. If you don't know the answer, your man's over here has a chance to answer it. If he gets it right, that's his. Doesn't matter. Better get it right. Doesn't matter. When the bonus point comes up, it's anybody's anybody's point. All right. It's still Neva and four. So, okay. so bonus is like we have to buzz into. That's I need my own buzzer. That. Okay? Oh, we're 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 buzzing. Can my own like light up? Purple. A, a purple band. <laughs> 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 All right. You ready? Hey, no cheating. <laughs> Step man, you ready? Let's get it. Which team has the record for the most three-pointers made in a playoff game, in a playoff game? That's a good one. Wow. I'm going to just go with the first team, can I Cleveland Cavaliers, because they had some shooters in that playoff, in that playoff series, that playoff run, rather. Correct. What? <laughs> Look at that. that. Look at that. Rockets? I thought the Rockets had it. All right. Bonus question. This is worth one bonus point. Let's get it. How many was it? Oh, Okay. <laughs> How many three-pointers? Wait, is that anyone can answer that? Yep. I'm going to go with 27. That is actually, that was what I was going to say. Cap. That is not going to say that. Nah, now that you got it right. It was very close though. 25. No, but you got it wrong, so I can know. Oh. You, you said 27 as well. Yeah, but since he said it, I was going to say something different now. Were you going to say 25? I was going to say 26. That's Cap. <laughs> still wrong. Cap. Still wrong. It's closer. Though. All yeah. right. Which player won all these awards in the year 2000. Which player? I wasn't born. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I forget well, you how young you are. That for this All one. star MVP, NBA MVP, and finals MVP. Shaq. <sighs> Give me five, boy. Yeah. Give me five. That was a good one. That was, that was good. I'm impressed. I watched it when I was in my mom's belly. Obviously. <laughs> all right, Neva. Which NBA team? has lost the most finals series? This is a trick question, right? I don't know what you're talking about. New York Knicks. Bow, bow. Ooh. If it was a player, it'd be LeBron. Um, <laughs> but it's not. Hmm. So I'm going to go Utah Jazz. Interesting that you said LeBron. Ooh. Too bad, though. It was the LA Lakers. 
Oh, uh, yeah, they have been oh, there. Oh, yeah, They're, that makes sense. How many sense. times have that they been there? Yeah, sense. Sense. Been, yeah, they essentially live there. Like That's the bonus question for one point. How many did they lose? Eight. I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with six. Fifteen. Damn. I, I thought about going up. And then <laughs> They've been there. I you didn't want to think that badly. How many times the they went to the, play- <laughs> the finals? All right, it is what All it right. is. Australia <clears throat> West. Which NBA player has the most career minutes in the NBA Finals? Remember what we just talked about? LeBron, hey, don't do that. LeBron James. Come oh, on, what is LeBron that? James. He said LeBron James. Wow. Incorrect. Oh, okay. Didn't help. <laughs> I take all that back. It didn't help. <laughs> Sir, to you. The most minutes total of their career. Most minutes in the NBA Finals. Uh, NBA history. NBA Finals. Uh, sorry, NBA Finals history. Mm-hmm. Okay. Stop delaying. Come on. <laughs> in three. Hang two. on, hang on. No, you gotta let me think no, about no, it. No, 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 you actually don't. Haven't Answer. About it. Done. Most Career minutes. minutes in the NBA Finals. Three. Tim Duncan. Two. One. Yo, that's you just wrong. said his name a moment ago. Bill. I Russell. know. That's, that's oh, why wow. it took so long. I was like, it's probably Bill. Can I just wow. say, when we did these questions, score man, how well did I do? Pretty well. Pretty well, well. I was thinking like Bill Russell been to 11 finals, but then LeBron's not far off that. No, but he, Bill yeah. Russell won a bunch of championships, championships as a coach, didn't he? Or was no, he was only? a play coach. No. Two years play coach. That's crazy. What was that? Was there not a bonus number? Fine. <laughs> she don't want to see us win. <laughs> <And with the> <laughs> I don't want to see Russell either win of you win. Coach. How many minutes did, <laughs> they, did they play to the nearest 100? How many minutes did they Ten play point. to the nearest 100? 10 points. This. this is a 10 point bonus, yes? A thousand minutes. A thousand minutes? To you, sir? Two thousand. Neither are correct, but if we were doing the game that we did the other week, you would be best. 3,185. Damn. Damn. Eastman, which NBA player has the most playoff appearances without a championship? This one I liked. Carl Malone. (laughs) Who? Who? Oh, okay. Good answer. Let's go. Good answer. Yeah. Let me take my jacket off then no, no, if you're saying answer. who. Bonus no, question. Hear. This is I didn't hear. <laughs> no, this no, the next I question. Concerned. I was like, <laughs> Seven. I thought he said something feeling? else. I was like, who? <laughs> All right. Bonus point. Only one. How many playoff games did Carl Malone play? Yes? 72. Wow. Uh, let's just go with 84. This man... It's like 250. 193. So I was closer, right? (laughs) It's not how this game works. You both suck. 100. No, you won the top one. I won That's okay. That's okay. baby. All right. Mm -hmm. What is the most points Kobe Bryant has scored in a playoffs game? This one's right up your alley. Yeah, it definitely should be. I feel like you got this. Wow. I've seen a lot of these play not live, but I've seen a lot of these play you? <laughs> <laughs> Wow, okay, I need to go with something. I'm going to go with career high playoff. Oh, my goodness, 47. Wrong. Yeah. 61. Oh, so oh, close. I, I, like 50. I guess 60 Damn. when I did this, so bonus for one point. Mm-hmm. Who was it against? Phoenix Suns. Yeah, wait. Let's what year? Go. 2007. Mm. Six. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Game six, first round. Let's go. <laughs> he hit some. So wow, you, that was legendary. So, so we're tied up now. Yeah, because that's a you got one bonus that, point for that one. I'm clutch. I'm all right, clutch. All right, all right, Come all right. right. Question seven. I want the last shot. One. All right. Name either of the teams who played in the first NBA Finals. Either of the teams. You were not wow. alive, in case you were wondering. <laughs> really? You sure? You weren't a thought. <laughs> Your parents weren't even a thought. My parents were like, that's the question. Um, this was Boston a long time Celtics. ago. No, no, it wasn't Boston Celtics. Uh, it wasn't. Newark Knicks. Nick Bunkers, actually. Nick Bunkers. Nope. Is this wrong? Is it my turn? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got a chance. I'm going to go with... Minneapolis Lakers. No. You, I like the thought part, right. like the path that, that, no. that you were right. headed. You see where I was... But wrong. Okay. Philadelphia Warriors. Uh-huh. Chicago Stags. No. Oh, the Stags. I forgot yeah. about the Stags. <laughs> <laughs> 
How about them stags, right? Uh, all right. <clears throat> Question eight. Only one player has ever led all players on both teams in points, rebounds, assists, steals, and blocks in a finals series. Who was This is it? so easy. Bum, bum. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna say LeBron James. That makes LeBron sense. LeBron James. That it's him, but is it LeBron James? It's LeBron James. It's LeBron James. Who it is though? Yeah. Oh, come on. That man, was for easy. a second. Did I, did I make you nervous? Wait, wait, the yeah. Bonus, I was like, bonus wow. question beyond that. Mm, there ain't no bonus question. No, Doesn't matter. Doesn't need to. Doesn't matter. All right. Oh, okay. Ain't gonna save you anyway. Oh. That was so easy, and that was against the Warriors in 2015, I think. You don't get any bonus points. Anyway. So just give up. This guy's complaining. We haven't finished the game. Question nine. Yet. Which team has the highest field goal percentage in NBA Finals series? Los Angeles Lakers. Guys, what the no heck? No way. I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. Just that they lost can, I, of them. can I just explain my rationale? Mm. Because you, you have Shaq in no. the paint. He's scoring the most, like, those of high, He played for three high percentage shots. Let me tell you something. Your rationale is wrong. <laughs> it was the San Antonio Spurs. Oh, man. I ain't gonna lie, um, that hey. was my second team. Uh, <laughs> yeah, think yeah. Like, I was thinking like teams that haven't played that many finals but have a good shooting team. So mm. I, yeah, I, you're losing, bro. Whatever. Yeah. But, Let's go. Bonus question. <laughs> One, oh, point. This month. One point. One point. Check this out. Which year was that? 1999. Yeah. That's wait, yours. Wait, wait, wait. Your turn. <laughs> San Antonio Spurs. Which year was that? Um, I want to seem so stupid. Uh, Twenty. 15. I w- no, 2014, I- 2013. Uh, wow. Which one was. Uh, Any year, one? really. Uh, which one was it? I think it was 2014. 2032. I'm going to give you that. I'm embarrassed to be sitting next wow. to you. Wow. I am embarrassed wow. to be sitting next to you. That was 2014. Wow. Let's go. Let's go. This is it. What's the score? This is the last question. Three all. I'm clutch, baby. Let's get it. I'm clutch. What do you mean? You're I'm D Fox. Let's go. Guys, you've had your like Could 10 po- the 10 bonus points is what That's you need piece. to be winning, right? This is my question. All right. right. So question 10. Which conference has produced the most championships? Which we conference be has produced the most championships? Hang on, hang on, hang Western on, hang on, hang on. Listen. No, if this is listen, if this is the last question. Oh, you know what? You're right. This should be like a buzzer right. beater right. type scenario. Excuse me, there's a bonus. It's a bonus. I just thought so anyone could this win. This will be an asterisk win. I think we right. go off a buzz. <laughs> you said the West. So that gives him the East. Yeah, right? What else? Like, I would say the you West. You shouldn't have done that because you're, you're choosing the East. You're talking about the East. But I'm right in saying the West. You're wrong. <gasps> I mean, wrong. East. It's East. Yeah, I said East. You were totally going to guess that what? one. Obviously. Nah. So that's you guys one, did one not point hear to you. say West. You're, I said you're on East. four. You're on three. I think that's because the Celtics. The last question is worth 10 bonus points. You can put so the ring on So it's anybody's game. Here. All right, here we go. How many has each conference won? So. You got to guess both conferences. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So the West. I don't know how many say. I'm going to say 36. And the East, I'm going to go 41. Well, your math is wrong there. Because there hasn't even been 77 seasons yet. This is 76. So I'm going 20. No, I'm going 36 and 40. 36 to the West. Why do I feel so nervous? It is so quiet in here. Come on. I already. That's so. That's the like, winner is. Yes. The winner is. Can both of you put your arms out as if this is like a, a, a fight? <laughs> your arms out. The winner is the man in the East. What? No. That was insane. 36 and 40. You said 36 oh, and 41. 41. So I was off by one. No I, I, I was sweating. Are you I serious? was like sweating for you. I can't Yo, believe. that is crazy. So, that is crazy. You just went this is, I'm shook. This is rigged. I'm ready to take What? This leather jacket was not a good idea. Nah, let me see that. You're, you're playing no, with me. No, 100%, I promise you. This, is this was the East. Oh, my God. That is actually crazy. <laughs> but listen. Him. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, he is him. Give him a max contract. Just... No, yeah, that is actually crazy. GG. GG. So that okay. is one to the East and zero to the West. He's leading the series. We saw West Side all day, you know what I mean? And it's going to end up. That's a, that is a great way that to, to end Buzzer Beater. That was actually crazy. Before we wrap up the show, we obviously don't have a Giddy segment, but I do want to mention that Giddy has just been announced that he is going to be in the Boomers World Cup team. Hey, 
Hey. A little. Let's go. A little. Let's go. We love Australian players who actually play for Australia. That's we good. love Australian players in general. What he said. In general, mm -hmm. we love watching them in the NBA and we love them representing our country. Shout out to all our Australians in the playoffs right now. We've mm -hmm. got four of them. Four. four Name them for us, that man. Jock Landale, mm -hmm. Paddy Mills, Joe Ingles, Matthew Della Vadova. So out basically, Dally. we have a chance of bringing a, uh, a chip to Australia. We certainly do. We've got four chances. No, can, I, can I just say that is actually. Like, if you try and find other countries, mm. like origins, like where some of these players are we're from, we're doing all right in the we're playoffs. We're doing very well. We're doing pretty well, mm. and it's I like, think America be up there. I mean, <laughs> what makes you say that? <laughs> I don't know. Can you can you know. do the math for me? Uh, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're not counted. They they are not counted, guys. This has been epic. This has been a great way to get into the playoff series. I'm excited for what's to come. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you stay tuned to what's happening on right here on YouTube. Also jump on Instagram where we're keeping down under on top. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you soon for another episode of The Debrief.